What's going on, guys? Your boy Tone Pepperone here with the one and only Lieutenant Chubb, the Chubmeister. Um, recently, we were made aware that between episode 9 and episode 10, that we were missing some content. Uh, I chalked that up to me and Chubb were really, really fucked up when we did the Christmas Trap House edition on episode 9. We probably didn't record the other two shits thinking we were. So yeah. we don't want you guys to have a gap. We're going to fill you in right now. Um, as best we can. You know, uh, I mean, granted, this is right around Christmas time. I was drunk as fuck. Tony was faded. We, like, we might have thought we were recording, and it's possible that we did and just it, it got lost somewhere. We don't know. This is episode, uh, what are we calling this? We're going to call this 9.5. 9.5. All right. Nine, episode nine and a half, because we're going to try and recap this and try to remember what we did best as we can. Uh, shout out to Faulty Film Gaming on YouTube for giving us, uh, for giving us the, the little heads up. Yeah. yeah, dude, you know? uh, we, we really appreciate that you're watching the vids, that you're following the storylines with us. We really appreciate that you pointed this out because we don't want people to be lost, man. Exactly. You know, we, we feel bad that uh, that we missed quite a bit of content. And uh, so th thanks for the tip, bud. Uh, keep on keeping on and uh, we're gonna, keep letting us know what's up. We're going to dive right into this recap. Now, keep in mind, this uh, in-game time, this is over a year ago from where we are right now. We're at episode, I believe, 21 or 22. So this is in 2002. Uh, we cut off, it was April, and we were three days away from uh, GD for the Famca. And yes. then when the video pops back up in 10, we're at leaned out. So we're going we're gonna to give you a quick recap of the few pay-per-views that ran in between. Yeah, we're, or we're going to try as best we can. Uh, we had GDE. Number one, uh, in between those things, somewhere, we fired Greg Valentine. Yeah, and we're, we're going to try and we're gonna remember when that We're going to try to remember, but here we go. Let's go. Part one, GDE for the Famca. Uh, it was Thursday, week one, April 2002. Uh, we had a sellout arena, 100 people. Uh, we started the show off, to the best of my recollection, was we set up that Blitzcrank was going to have a uh, world title match with Saban, Hollywood, and Loki. That was angle yes. one. Yeah, I, be I believe that was okay. uh, what we had done for the hype. We had uh, best friends, you know, butt buddies, Colt Cabana and CM Punk with Colt Cabana shit-stomping CM Punk because he's a shitter. Um, then we had, this is uh, Kazarian, the uh, Kazarian Kendrick when they were feuding with the Clown Car Posse. So we had Kazarian go up against Burrito Supreme. Burrito Supreme won. Yes, we did a couple singles matches for them instead of tag team. Um, so yeah, uh, Burrito Supreme defeated Fuck Dies. Um, then we had uh, AJ go over on Amazing Red and Damian Sandown with Triple Threat. Yes. <sighs> he hit both of them with the Styles Clash and broke both of their necks. Pretty much. Gave him the Yoshi Tatsu treatment. Straight up. Uh, then uh, after that match, we had Pogo uh, defeating Brian Kendrick. You know our boy Pogo. He doesn't lose here. We will never make him lose a match. So uh, he shit on Brian Kendrick. And then we, uh, after that match, we had Ahmed Johnson go again in a triple threat against Greg Valentine and Chad Ryan. Uh, Ahmed wound up taking this one. Yeah. Uh, Greg Valentine was, of course, not happy about it at all. Uh, so I believe he was still complaining loudly. You know, we gave him the typical GDE treatment. We protect, we keep strong. And uh, he just, he didn't want it. And... Uh, so we took it away. Okay. And then after that, we had the uh, main event match. Blitzkrieg winds up retaining the Trap House World Championship. Mm -hmm. After the match, um, they're still fighting. They wind up, everyone winds up fighting all the way after the match. The match is over. People are still pissed. They wind up fighting all the way into the back, all the way to the concession stands. Straight up. So uh, all in all, for the Famca... Uh, the show got an F plus. Yeah, it didn't uh, do it. I mean, at the time, it, I mean, not available on cable got an F plus, so it went with the scores we were getting at the time. Exactly. So just keep in mind, guys, uh, what we're showing you right now is from I. Uh, this is before we were even small size. 
Yeah, this is uh, the next show after that. This was the big one that a lot of people wanted to know about, the Swayze Invitation. Yes. This was when we started to get uh, good ratings. We, we moved up to an A here. Yeah, this, is, this was the one that uh, uh, Faulty Film Gaming pointed out that we missed. Uh, so we're going to try and, uh, yeah, we're going to try and see what we can remember here. Uh, okay, so Angle. Worker okay, I remember this show. one. I remember this one. Okay, uh, the show starts, Greg Valentine demanding a title shot. He's, he's, he's telling Yetzel he wanted a title shot. It was, okay, yeah. He, uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Valentine was, was pushing for that title shot, and he gets it later on in the night against Blitzkrieg. Yes. Okay, uh, segment two was the Dancing Fools. Uh, Alex Wright and Disco Inferno. Uh, they took on Kane's K Security and the Clown Car Posse. Actually, one uh, too. Oh, that is true. Yeah. 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 This yeah. must be when we first uh, started really pushing them. Yes, it is. Because Alex Wright had morale issues. Yeah, we wanted we wanted Alex Wright to get a couple of wins under his belt, but. He he just kept complaining, and as you guys know from future episodes, <laughs> we fired him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, went, so next up. Oh, this is when uh, Sandow won the Trap House Championship. Yep, yep. This is when we gave the title to Mizdow. Sandow takes on Chad Ryan, Amazing Red, Hollywood, CM Punk, and Low Key wins the Swayze Trap House Championship. Yeah. So that was a that was a six man. Uh, I, I believe it was a six-man elimination match. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, last yeah. last elimination was Chad Ryan. Yes, that's true. Uh, contract signing. Uh, that now, was that was when we showed everyone we signed Rob Van Dam. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, that might have been it too. Okay. Yeah, and, let me let me take a look to make sure on that. Yeah, because I don't see Rob before that, so I'm pretty sure that's when we signed him. Yeah, I I, w- I would assume, anyways. And then we <sighs> had, yeah, this started the RVD Ahmed feud. Yes, yes. Um, I don't, it, it hasn't started, you know, uh, the current incarnation of uh, Ahmed Johnson, a.k.a. VD Johnson. Well, that's going to happen in future episodes. They will see it that. Is. It is. Uh, and then Blitzkrieg defeated Greg Valentine to retain the world championship. Uh, and of course, Greg Valentine complained loudly about that. Well, let me see. On the next show, did we have him, or did he get fired right there? I think that's the show we fired him. Might have been the show that we fired him. That's then. definitely the show we fired him. Okay, so after this match, when Greg Valentine loses, he gets fired. All right. Okay. So, yeah, basically, that's where the continuity issue is. Uh, Greg Valentine was fired after the Swayze Invitational because he was a bitch. Yeah, he was crying a lot. Like, dudes, he was... Everything was... Ooh, I'm unhappy! Ooh! It was, yeah. It was a lot of crying. No. It, 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 it was like how we were booking Alex Wright. Like, he just... He would complain about every match. Okay. All right. So let's move on to Chinese Takeout 02. Uh, so 1v1 with the title on the line. I remember uh, this. This I is, don't. Okay. I remember this. This is uh, Blitzkrieg goes out and says flat out that he wants to fight Ahmed Johnson. Ooh, all right. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of almost remembering. Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg had... He was... Uh, He was mid-heel turn at this time, or he was in full heel turn, and uh, he was trying to show his dominance in the company. So he decides that he's going to take on Ahmed Johnson, who is an established name in WWE. So he challenges Ahmed for the title. He tells Ahmed, I'm going to put the title on the line. I want a main event match with you tonight. Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, And and Ahmed did accept. He did. Ahmed accepts right there. Um, so then we had, you know, Hollywood, uh, oh, sorry, I'm yawning a lot, I'm a little bit tired. This was uh, a five-man match. 
Yes, it was a five minute. And this was uh, a this was takeout on a pole. It, yes, it was because uh, it's the Chinese takeout pay per view, right? Uh, so Hollywood ended up eating the Chinese takeout. Uh, so sorry, Chad, Chris, amazing and low. Hollywood. At the time, we were really pushing Hollywood. Yeah, and he just. He didn't pan out. <laughs> yeah, he didn't pan out. Uh, as you'll see in future episodes, we don't want to spoil it. Exactly. Uh, so then we had the Clown Car Posse defeating K&K Security and the Dancing Fools. Um, the, you know, very, very standard. Uh, we don't like the Clown Car Posse to lose. Uh, the specifically in, Pogos. So. The in-ring interview was Ahmed Johnson cutting a promo on Blitzkrieg. Yes. Ahmed basically came out to the ring, um, basically said, you know, I'm going to whoop Blitz, Blitzkrieg's ass. Uh, I shot a fuckload of steroids this morning. Oh, so many steroids. Like, I've shot so many steroids this morning, I ain't going to feel shit. Yeah, like, he's he's fucking flying. The dude shot so many steroids, he's like Hulk status. Dude's got oh, the ro- not Hulk status. Dude's got the roid rage of Hulk. So he cuts a promo, basically saying he's gonna beat the shit out of Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg's a fucking no name wrestler, you know, blah blah blah, etc. There's some fucking guy from WCW. I was in the WWE. I shot like fucking fifty CCs in my neck this morning. Let's go. Jesus, so much. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, that segments right into. Uh, Sandow defending the Swayze Trap House Championship on a Chinese takeout on a pole match. Yeah, which, which he successfully does. Oh, yeah, of course. It was a triple threat. Uh, we put him in with Cole Caban and CM Punk because they have amazing chemistry together. They always pull a good match. Uh, we did get an E out of them. Yes, we definitely did. And keep in mind, they have no momentum at this point, so pulling an E out of them was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like, like this was actually a really good show. Considering that at this point we had nobody with. Well, any... I mean, as you guys could see, it got an E rating. Uh, we did sell out the ice rink at the time. Yeah. So uh, after that, we go right into the main event: the Ahmed Johnson uh, Blitzkrieg one-on-one ladder on a pole match for the Trap House World Championship. Uh, Ahmed takes the victory. Uh, it, it was a decisive win. Yeah, it, it was a decisive win. Ahmed, like, Ahmed beat Blitzkrieg, you know, clean. He almost beat there. him straight out of the mask. Ooh. Like, he was so goosed up on steroids that he almost punched Blitzkrieg right out of his mask. Yeah, so that show was, uh, that was an E rating. We had a really good show. Uh, that was the start of us starting to uh, come up in the ratings a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then we had pay-per-view on a poll. This was Saturday, week two, July 2002. It was another sellout. Uh, we moved up to an E-plus show rating. Yes. Oh! I know you remember this show, so uh. I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. So, very first angle of the show. The Clown Car Posse are outside... Uh, Yetzel's running all around. He's like, I can't believe we fuck? didn't get this on camera, man. I'm so disappointed that we didn't get this on camera. Like, we were so fucked up, and this was one of the greatest ideas we had. Uh, so basically, the Concar Posse, they're outside in their car. Uh, you know, this is this is Chad Ryan in Pogo. Yeah, Yetzel is running all around. Like, where the fuck are these guys? What the fuck's going on here? Uh, he, they find he looks at a camera and he sees that there's a car parked outside. Yeah, the car's yeah, yeah. been there all night with the lights on, and he's like, "Who the fuck is this?" Like the people are starting to think, "Is this a new wrestler? Is this someone new we're gonna see? Is this who is this?" Yeah, it's 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 you know, to no great surprise, it's nobody new. It's Chad Ryan and it's Pogo. They're rolling high as fuck on Molly. They are so fucking strung out that they thought they locked themselves in their car. They thought they were locked in the car and there was no way out. 
Yeah. So Yetzel's out there, and he's like, guys, you got to fucking, you got wrestling tonight. Like, you guys are both on this show. Yeah. You need he to get keeps, the fuck out there. Yeah, Yetzel keeps <laughs> the door. Like, Chad Ryan just grabs the door and closes it back shut, and he's like, no, yo, we're fucking locked in here. Eventually, Yetzel just gets pissed and, you know, breaks through the window and starts trying to pull them out of the car like he that. He breaks the window and has to save them because they think that they're locked in. Yeah. He even literally though, has to pull them out of the window like he's saving their lives. Even though the doors were clearly unlocked. The doors like, were open. Yetzel, Yetzel was able to open the door. Chad Ryan just grabbed it and closed it again. Yeah, dude. Like, they were that fucked on Molly. Yetzel literally wanted to break in the windows to pull them out of the windows. Yeah. So, it's a great, great angle. Uh, so, followed by, you know... Dancing Fools defeating K&K Security in a 2v2, 2v2 Hell in a Cell in a pole And in match. case we didn't say this earlier, or for anyone that just might see this segment and doesn't follow it too much, you know, like, we have, we have some loyal fans like, you know, Faulty and shit like that, but for those, some of you who aren't as loyal fans that don't watch every show, uh, the Dancing Fools are Alex Wright and Disco Inferno. K&K Security is actually a play on J&J Security that's going on yeah. now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Brian uh, Kendrick and um, Frankie, Frankie Kazarian. Yeah. Old fuck guys. Yeah, and yeah, uh, and of course, Hell in a Cell on a pole. It's exactly how it sounds. Yeah, it's okay. For those of you who follow the show, you know what it is. But for those of you who don't, Hell in a Cell on a pole is there's not a ring first. It's poles with the ring on top of the poles, and then this is all inside of a Hell in a Cell. See, I <laughs> see my, my my imagination is there's a ring and there are four poles on the you know turnbuckles of the ring, and then they have to climb up that to get into another ring uh, that's surrounded by a handle in a cell. So it's a lot of fucking climbing. To get into the main match, you need to climb up the pole into the hell in the cell into the ring. Yes. Like before the match even officially starts. Exactly. P pinfalls don't count on the bottom ring. It's a really good concept. It, I'm, I'm sure it costs a fuckload of money, but it's a good concept. It's, it's just pain. It's horribly dangerous. Okay, from there we go. Now, I remember this. Blitzkrieg got a demotion down in mid-quarter. He did, yes. Blitzkrieg defeats Amazing Red in a 1v1 ladder on a pole match. That's basically what you think. It's a on a pole match with the ladder on it, and the object is to beat the shit out of your opponent with the ladder. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> oh. right. okay. Let, 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 me, let me bring in the You this got it. Here. Okay, so, uh, Yetzel, he's fucking furious at the Clown Car Posse. He's like, look. I don't know if you guys remember. He's got them both in the office at this point. Yeah. I don't know if you guys both remember, but you have fucking, uh, you have a fucking match to wrestle tonight. And so Pogo, he's, he's all strung out, but he's Pogo's a, a champ. He's like, yo, I'll fucking do it. Let's fucking do this, bud. Chad, on the other hand, he had a bit too much. Uh, so he ends up, he doesn't. He doesn't say anything. He throws up on Yetzel's desk and passes out in the middle of the office. Like, dude, straight is sleeping on Yetzel's floor. Yeah. So Yetzel has to uh, has to go out to the ring and announce that Chad Ryan will not be wrestling tonight. Pogo and Burrito will be. Oh yeah, Pogo and Burrito. They'll take care of it. Burrito's kind of looking at Pogo like, "My God, dude, are you really gonna do this?" But. He did it, and guess what? They won. Clown Car Posse defeated CM Punk and Cole Cabana in a 2v2 Chinese stakeout on a pole match. And, uh, you know, Pogo, he definitely loved that fucking Chinese food. Oh, yeah, dude. He was high as fuck. He's hungry. Burrito's a fat fuck already. This was a clear win. Exactly. I mean, C CM Punk is, you know, quote-unquote straight edge. The dude looks like he needs a meal. Cole Cabana, he's he's eating good, but he they don't have the appetite of the clown car posse, especially exactly. not Pogo. Pogo was fucking ripped. He's fat. The dude was hungry. Yeah, dude needed some munch. Like it, it, it's it's real hard for Pogo to lose Chinese takeout on a pole. Exactly. Finally, 
we have Ahmed Johnson defeating RVD and Damian Sando in a triple threat steroids on a pole match. <laughs> right, I remember now. This was the introduction to steroids on a pole that they didn't yes. get to see. So if in future episodes you're a little lost on what this match is, steroid on a pole was a, was a brainchild of mine and Chubbs. Uh, basically what it is is steroids hanging on a pole, and uh, the first person to retrieve the said steroids is the winner. Exactly. Uh, they don't have, have to inject them. Yeah, you don't have to use them on your opponent or nothing like that. You got to straight do the steroids in the ring. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's basically a match that only Ahmed Johnson wanted to take part in. So RVD and Damian Sando, they they had basically given up from the start. They're like, we'll we'll make you look okay. Like, let's put it this way: RVD and Damian Sando, they're they're putting on an excellent match against Ahmed. It's pretty even. But when they started getting tired and the match was almost over, Ahmed's still going full force. He wants the fucking steroids. Oh yeah. Like, dude would just would not quit. They were like, you know what, Ahmed, you fucking got this one. Straight up. We don't even want them. So, with that in mind, we are now caught up to the GDE leaned now out that, pay-per-view. Yes, this is Wait. where episode 10 picks up. Yep. Exactly. So I'm going to actually not show the card. Uh, yep. That's where episode 10 picks up. So for any of you guys that are out there, uh, between 9 and 10, you've seen that it skipped from uh, April to August. These are, this is what you missed? Yeah, we were, we're, so, we're sorry we missed it. Uh, sometimes, you know. Things happen. Again, shout out to Faulty. We appreciate you catching our mistake. Uh, we put this out there for you know you guys that are really hardcore watching our shows, that are fans, exactly. that are our, our, our early subscribers, the ones who are really supporting us and what we're doing here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, honestly, thank you, guys. We really do appreciate you. You're really religiously yeah. watching the shows. It means yeah. a lot to we, us. We love the love, guys. Yeah, man. I mean, to t- to be honest, we're not making money. We do this for you guys. It's fun for us. We like booking. We know there's a lot of you guys out there like us that are big wrestling fans that aren't happy with what's on TV right now. You want exactly. to take it into your own hands, and we respect that you like our booking, and that that does mean a lot to us. Exactly. You 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 guys, you mean a lot to us. We love you. Come uh, come, let me suck all those titties. And uh, what Chubb is trying to say is you are now caught up. Uh, there's no gaps. Uh, you've seen everything that's transpired. And as always, go fuck yourself. Fuck off.